Oh my God, you guys get excited because we are breaking down the opening ceremony for the 2020 slash 2021 Summer Tokyo Olympics. Ah, Drew, it's not just about that actually. Today is our very first day of the Clever Summer Style Olympics. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, you guys? Well, we have these really cute little Olympic themed fits, but also we are gonna be bringing you videos every day this week, but tonight is all about the opening ceremony. Yes, yes it is. There's going to be fashion, there's gonna be sports, there's gonna be big O's, I think there's five of them. Let's break it down, it's Dirty Laundry. Kicking it off with Misha, who sang the Japanese national anthem. She looks absolutely stunning. Stunning. Look at her, she is in all her glory, amazing. She looks like, what are those like snow colors? That's what I was thinking You know, too. maybe because I'm hungry, yes. I don't know, yes. but it's just glorious. It's I know. just that, that shaved ice with all the flavors. This is not just a dress, this is a moment. This is like bubble bath, but like, Gorge, rainbow, oh my God. It's beautiful. I see, it reminds me of a flower yes. blooming, you yes. know? Yes, her dress is all about the snow cone and I have not had a snow cone yet this season. She is here to remind us, summer is here, we are ready for it and whatever flavor that is, I want it. I'm curious to know what shoes she's wearing under that. She's probably wearing sneakers if she's smart <gasps> for comfort. Yeah, she's like, I'm singing the national anthem, don't worry about my shoes. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with this. We've got Naomi Osaka with the Olympic torch. That torch I, I don't know if I've ever really studied one before. It kind of looks like it's one of those giant drinks you get in Vegas, like the <laughs> giant cocktails or something. So big honor, she actually brought the torch to light the cauldron. I mean, the Harry Potter of it all. I just had to say <laughs> that. Like, I just really love her. And I think this just, I'm glad that they had her have this position, kind of like lighting the flame yeah. and bringing it all yeah. in. Because it's very much true to like her year, you yeah. know? She's bringing the fire. And she just looks incredible. I know it sounds ridiculous to talk about her fashion when she's literally one of the top athletes in the world and she's just trying to light a cauldron, but she looks great. <laughs> I love that she infused like the colors into her hair and everything. And she, you know, just spice it up a little bit. Yeah, for that's, sure. Naomi, she's not a simple girl. She's, she's spicy. She was like, I'm yeah. gonna bring a little sass to yeah. the uniform. So I like that too. Yep, and then probably take home the gold. All right, we've got our host country, Japan. They are rocking the white and red. Japan actually came out last in order of the nations, but we wanted to bring it to you guys first because we couldn't ignore it. It's so cute. I mean, clearly it's nice and clean cut. It's not anything yeah. crazy, you know? It's not like, oh my gosh, look at their outfits. But I like that it's just simple yeah. and chic. This like red pant. I love very, it. Very specific bright red with almost a khaki beige blazer, a white button down, little pocket square. It's professional. They're very like, professional. we are here to welcome you to our country yes. and we take this seriously. Yeah, we're, we're about the business, <laughs> okay? No distractions. No distractions. Yeah. Oh, uh, what up, Kenya? Looking like a couture fashion show. This is like maybe my favorite so far. These outfits are here to dazzle and razzle and everything of the sort. It's superhero-esque almost, regality. Yeah, the women all have a sort of a cape on. They have this really gorgeous, like, is it plaid? Is that what you'd call this? Yeah, plaid it looks like it. Dresses, everyone is so like in unison. I mean, everyone just looks incredible. Wow, it's also giving me Christmas feels that's just like, a side note. I love it. I feel like this is the way that you come into the Olympics. Yeah. You're like, yeah. I'm here to dominate. So this is Italy. This is the very talked about Giorgio Armani tracksuit. I love that they're in tracksuits. Like that's what you're supposed to do at the Olympics, right? Yeah. They're yeah. like, we play sports. Just the fact that Giorgio Armani made their outfits is just a flex, you yeah, know? Yes. I love that. I want Giorgio Armani to make me a tracksuit. I like what they how they incorporated the Italian flag here, but it's almost like they like split it open a little bit into a pie chart. It's like a little pie chart. Pizza. Italians mm. make the pizza best pies. Pizza. Okay, here's the thing. This just in, everybody. I'm hearing it is stinking hot in Tokyo. Oh, crap. Like hotter than any day in Miami. The humidity is crazy. And what's crazy is most of these outfits are like turtleneck to ankle, full fit. Oh my God. But you know what? At the end of the day, they're Olympians. Like <sighs> the global warming of it all. But they're I don't like, know how they are breathing, but they look good. <laughs> okay, up next we've got Bermuda, rocking the Bermuda short, just in case we forgot where that came from there. Kung Fu Bermuda. First of all, I love the pink. I think the pink is a great pop of color. Yes. And also they're rocking 
Bermuda shorts. Yeah, I honestly love that they chose pink. It's obviously not a color that we would think that they would choose because mm -hmm. it's not, you know, their uh, their colors of their country. But I think it's a bold statement and it's fun. I'm obsessed with this. And the matching pink masks. Yes. Come through pink. I li I just I like pink mixed with is it navy or black dark colors in general. I just think that's a very sleek look. And I, yeah. I think my favorite part is that they're wearing Bermuda shorts. <laughs> and I kind of like that they mix like business and casual. It's kind of like a mullet, but then it's kind Kind of back down to business on the bottom with those high socks. Right. <laughs> okay, we quickly need to talk about the two countries that just have two athletes, Tuvalu and Dominica. So Tuvalu was the first one. It was like this island flair that yeah. I absolutely loved. You could tell just their culture from their country. Yep. The skirts, the top, the arms, the masks, the headpieces, like. This is beautiful. Again, I just love that each country is repping just something that's culturally representative, you know? And then Dominica, okay? First of all, we gotta talk about this queen that didn't want to hold the flag, but she hold her dress instead, <laughs> and she strutted down and walked. She was like, I am here, I have arrived, I'm going to compete, which I love. But what a flex, you're like, out of our entire country, us. Us. It's us. Like, their families must be so proud. Yeah, I'm proud for them. Me this, too. That's like, like a, a huge got honor. Goosebumps. Okay, so here's the thing. Peter <laughs> is an Olympic veteran. Uh, he was in the Summer Olympics like a few years ago, then he was in the Winter Olympics, which which is like the biggest flex here in the Summer Olympics and the Winter Olympics. Okay, I'm Mina. busy, I'm in the Olympics, you know? sorry. He said, wait a minute, where's the baby oil? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be on the world stage here. Oh man, he was he was red <laughs> Can we just talk about the fact that he was skiing in one of the Olympics, then Taekwondo, he just like mixes it up. He does like, I'm bored. I'm gonna take my shirt off, switch it up, put a little oil. I like, I mean, it's a statement for sure. It's not a subtle glaze, right? It's like, he literally took the bottle and just went like this. I'm sure he's greased down, but you think some of it's just sweat? Cause it's hot. Oh, maybe. Cause he's dripping a little. Do you think he has a person behind him spraying or rubbing him with palmers? If he does, can I apply for yeah. that job? I can get to Tokyo. Okay. In a day. All right, we've got Angola here, starting with the queen holding the flag right there. I'm really loving these outfits. I love like the men and the women kind of have like a matching tie in yeah, together. Yeah. But then for real, the queen bee in the front. I love these dresses too. I feel like they're girly, they're cute. I personally mm -hmm. really like that cut of a dress just to wear. Mm -hmm. And they look great in it. It's the colors of their flag. Obviously, I like the track suits and just like the yeah. pants suits of it all, but this is cool because they did something different. Yeah. Again, everything is indicative of that country culture, you know? It's like straight to the point, but also fashion. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna be sporty later. They can be cute now. Exactly. All right, Canada coming in strong with just a jacket and pants. Now we have to touch on something that we're confused about because a couple months ago they had revealed their outfit was gonna be this really cool sort of graffiti yeah. denim jacket, yeah. tons of cool patches, artwork, but that's not there. So. I would just like to say that this jacket is everything. I see why they didn't go with it because they probably wanted to dress it up a little bit or be a little more buttoned up and professional, but this is great. I kind of wish that we saw everyone rocking the jean jacket. I know. The Canadian tuxedo. But they wore just like this dope windbreaker again. Their flag colors and white pants, which is like if anybody's on their period, and I only say that because <laughs> I'm currently on my period, like, woo! All right, you guys, last but not least, the US has come through. Can I say it now? Come through, US. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Team USA holding it down with a pretty like, private schoolgirl look here. This is very like prep school. Yeah. Ralph Lauren, I think, did their outfits and I, it's not what I was expecting, to be honest. It's not exactly sporty, but it's a little bit casual. The outfits that were teased to us again a few months ago, similar to Canada, they were sort of these like astronaut-inspired fits, and this is something different. They did a blue blazer, they did the white and navy striped top. Mm -hmm. Definitely really simple, classic, casual. Yeah. I would yeah, want something more exciting, but also at the same time, this is what you expect, right? Yeah, it's certainly different from what everybody else has going on. So I guess we can say that. I think they look good. I like yeah. the blazers. I like the striped shirts. I like the shoes. They look chic, you know? They look chic. Okay, so we have Sue Bird and Eddie Alvarez as the flag holder. And as you can see, there's a different spin on their outfits. They're actually wearing white jackets. And not only is it just a white jacket, 
but it's a jacket that has air conditioning in it. Yeah, he was basically like, I don't want you taking this jacket off, so we are going to compromise. I will literally give you an AC unit in your back. For some reason, they're special. They get air conditioning. They're very lucky. All right, you guys, that was the opening ceremony review. Let us know your thoughts below, because I am very curious. Yes, and don't forget the Clever Style Summer Olympics starts today, and we have another video coming out on Monday, so stay tuned, and you guys know the drill. Your laundry is now dirty. You're welcome.